So we start over there by building up the unit with the coils and brazing them in. Then we uh, charge the unit up with some air to check for leaks. Then we move on to our vacuums here where we put the unit on vacuum and take all of the air out of the unit or as much as we can. Then we charge up the unit with the correct quantity of refrigerant. Then that goes into the leak chamber where we check for leaks. Then we build up the rest of the assembly of the unit, go into the run test booth where we verify operation, and then we have a finished good. We feel pretty excited today. All the team is getting through together. They want to see the, the, the new inverter running, so it's a, it's a big change that we're gonna make. We, we're taking notes of everything in case we have to change something, but I think it's gonna be a pretty good day today. So in order to run test our units, we have to read the temperature. So like discharge air, we monitor when we, our system is running, the return air over the coil, and then outdoor coil temperature. So when we go through run tests, the first check is to make sure all those sensors are reading correctly before we go into, you know, testing the compressor, making sure the compressor works and the motor works. So right now with this new inverter drive, it's not giving us any feedback on those temperature sensors. So our controls team is going, uh, they're gonna go and start debugging the inverter drive, try to figure out why it's not reading correctly and get it fixed so we can get up and running. So we got our inverter control board here. So anything electrical in our room air conditioner and there's all power through here, everything goes through this board on our unit. The most important things are our sensors that are here. They're gonna let us know what's going on in the system around the unit. Coil temperatures, air temperatures around the system. We got our power cords, and then again, our critical components. So we got our compressor wiring here, as well as our motor. Got relays, capacitors, paint sink to make sure it doesn't get too hot. Again, this is the brains of our uh, room air conditioner now. So on this station here, we have the team that'll be doing all the wiring assemblies. So they'll get the board, open up the enclosure, and again, all the wires that you see running off, this team will here will be assembling all the harnesses, close our enclosure, walk them over to the production line, get them into the system. We identified an error in the run test uh, station where the inverter boards that we had received from our supplier had not been updated to the, mo the most recent firmware, and it led to some errors on our run test booth stating that the temperature sensors were not e-reading accurately. We are updating the firmware. There were some issues with some fusing and other things on the unit, but we were able to uh, correct those issues and run it through the entire run test procedure. We just passed the first uh, wall master unit on the line with the new R32 and inverter Rack technology. One. Rack one. My Beyonce moment. <laughs> 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 <laughs>